Next, we journey to Russia with Baranya before visiting Mark Chekhet and Valerie Gorkovsky in Moscow. We'll then swing back to Santa Fe, New Mexico, as we hear from Estefania Ramirez of Entre Flamenco. Then on to Shanghai, China, to visit with 2020 Gerwitz International Piano Competition gold medalist Jia Le Li, whilst experiencing a bit of his award-winning performance at the Tobin Center for the Performing Arts with the San Antonio Symphony just last year. We'll then move to Taiwan to hear from J.P. Joffrey, renowned Argentine bandonian player, as we reflect on past performances and hear what our artists have planned for the future. Spasiba, spasiba. So where are you right now? We are in our living room in New Jersey. In New Jersey. Looks like Russia. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I didn't introduce uh, the balalaika player, my wife, Elina. Elina, thank you Elina, for joining Elina us. Elina is number one balalaika player in the United States. You will hear her play. She's amazing. She has a PhD in, balal in balalaika. She went to conservatory and uh, received a PhD in playing the balalaika. You, you will hear, she's, she's really good. And, and, and this is, a, this is a, my big balalaika, our big balalaika. We brought it from Moscow, this is contrabass. And behind the contrabass on the wall is, a, is our wedding picture, Red Square in Moscow. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys haven't changed a bit. You look exactly the same. That must have been last year. Yeah, it, it, it was uh, two years ago. We know <laughs> each other for, we are together for many years, but uh, two years ago, uh, Lina finally agreed to, to get married with me. <laughs> yeah. and she's, she's still with you. It's a good sign. So, Lina, <laughs> have you had a chance to have any performances, virtual performances during the pandemic, or what's been keeping you busy? I was really glad because uh, uh, Musical Bridges of the World started our virtual uh, uh, programming uh, sessions. You guys uh, did uh, invited us to do the show in May for schools in San Antonio. And after that, we put some advertisement on the web and we, we got about uh, 10 library schools and uh, festivals, uh, uh, mostly in the United States, but also some in, in uh, around the world, in China, in uh, Britain. Wonderful. Well, your performance for the Kids to Concert that you performed in the spring was a big hit. Over 46 schools in San Antonio and greater Bear County participated, and we estimate that upwards of 18,000 children were able to view that concert. We had an introduction from our very own mayor, Ron Nuremberg, and you, Mikhail, along with Elena, took us on a journey exploring all kinds of Russian music as well as dance. And children learned a few words in Russian. They got to learn about the instruments. And then you took us from Cossack to Gypsy to Ukrainian to Jewish music. And it was a real treat for many of those children who don't have a chance to leave their neighborhoods, sometimes their homes during the pandemic, but they got to travel across the great country of Russia thanks to you. 
Yeah, we wanted to play for you a piece uh, about Russian winter. We think it's about time. It's called Valenki. Valenki is a felt boots. Felt boots that the uh, Russian people wearing during the winter time. That's what it looks like. <laughs> this is Valenki. Yeah. Mark and Valerie, for our viewers, are two of some of the founders of Musical Bridges around the world. Mark is the a violinist, but also the brother of founder Dr. Anya Grakowski, originally from Moscow, and he was in the United States for a time and now back in Russia. And Valerie also was married to Anya for a time and was here in San Antonio at uh, UTSA and is an incredible classically and jazz trained pianist and professor there in Moscow. So we're glad to have both of you gentlemen join us. We're in our 23rd season, as you know, for Musical Bridges. And since the organization's inception, it has grown by leaps and bounds over the course of two decades to impacting tens of thousands of people a year in live concerts and free performances and commissioned works. But now this year we're programming virtually. So that's why we're thrilled to have you here on screen. Tell us a little bit about your lives as musicians and uh, what you've been up to. What's been happening for you in, in Moscow? What is the music scene like? How about you, Mark? What have you been up to? 
Well, I'm doing great, actually. We're preparing uh, Tchaikovsky trio, Mendelssohn trio. I play some Schumann in a week. So I enjoy my life and uh, I work a lot on paintings and on sculpture and on new musical instruments. And we have, Mark, as you mentioned, you're a painter. We have some of your paintings here in the Musical Bridges office. We have another show right now called Time Stands Still, which I think is appropriate for the time as everybody is standing still in a way. But uh, what style of painting have you engaged now? Well, um, I'm still painting violins and the music. about you, Valerie? Have you continued teaching virtually? Is anything happening with the university? I made a little progress in my teaching and I became a director of uh, uh, Ignition Music College, which is a big opportunity for me and that's a huge responsibility. So I have like two colleges. Uh, one of them is a pop and jazz music college uh, and uh, the other one is a classical college. I have about 1,500 students, and I'm a dean of the fine arts and uh, pop and jazz cultural um, university. So it's a it's a lot of work. I mean, like huge, like a snowfall. Well, that's a lot of hats that you're wearing, and I think it's the same challenge, whether it's in Russia or here in the United States. We have music to connect us, and so we thank you both for joining us here, and we hope that you'll plan to come back to San Antonio sometime and be part of one of Anya's creative <laughs> ensembles that she puts together. I know we had homecoming a few years ago where she had the whole family back together and both of you were part of that. And it's, uh, we, we see you at a distance. It's good to reconnect, but we hope to have you again physically in person. Well, thank you very much. And uh, good luck to you guys and uh, hope everything will be fine. Thank you. And, th yeah. and thank you, Mark. We look forward to seeing more of your paintings. <laughs> Thank you.
here at Musical Bridges Around the World, we're joined now directly from Santa Fe, New Mexico, a member of the Entre Flamenco group. Uh, they are friends of Musical Bridges, and uh, we have Estefania Ramirez joining us. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's really exciting to celebrate and to still have such a wonderful relationship and partner with Musical Bridges around the world. We hope that every, any and everyone participates and supports Musical Bridges. Um, you all are the ambassadors to music and dance, international music and dance um, in Texas, and you're our favorite Texan partners. Thank you, and you're our, well, we used to have you here in San Antonio. You and Antonio were here for a number of years and have moved back to Santa Fe, which I think, I mean, you're from New Mexico. Is that your home? Um, we actually were established in New Mexico with another nonprofit before we relocated back to Spain and then back to the United States to San Antonio. And then we've, we've done a complete 360 and are back to New Mexico again. We're not originally from here, but have been um, in and out of Santa Fe for 27 years now. Wow. Well, it's a good place to call home. And I know you've traveled the world as a as a soloist and with Antonio throughout North America. So you're certainly one of our favorite artists and uh, you're featured in all of our publicity and programming whenever we have dance. Tell us a little bit about what's happening in your life. I mean, since the onset of the pandemic, you're probably having less live performances. Are you still teaching? Are you having a chance to engage virtually? What's happening there with Entre Flamenco in Santa Fe? Entre Flamenco, since the pandemic, um, has been in, like many other nonprofit organizations, in-person shutdown. So our business operations have been shuttered. Um, we operate a performance venue where we have performances and on an, in a normal year, we present up to 96 performances over four different performance seasons, in addition to our youth outreach performance and um, educational program. Those are our two main programs. And then we also do a lot of arts and education partnership works um, with different museums here throughout the state of New Mexico. And all of our operations have been shifted to online virtual programming. We thank you for joining us. And I think we've got a little clip lined up so that our audiences that are tuned in right now can actually get a taste of Entre Flamenco and what our kids are experiencing and what our audiences have seen here in the past. Excellent. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. This is Jala. I'm currently quarantined in a hotel in Shanghai, and I just got back two days ago from America. And、um, I've been really busy these days because I'm preparing for the graduation exam for Eastman, and I've been also moving around too. Although it's it is it was very very busy, but I feel good to be back home. I got involved with、uh, musical bridge when I participated one year ago to the Gorwitz International Piano Competition, and I I met a lot of wonderful people who helped me to get through this stressful competition, and I managed to win win the first place. And I'm sure I cannot be successful without any help of these people, and、uh, I'm really lucky. To be in this competition, and it was a really wonderful experience for in my lifetime. And、uh, I will say something to you guys、uh, in Chinese to、uh, give my best wishes. 节日快乐！希望大家每天都开心、健健康康。一定要在在这个特殊的时期，呃，注意安全。I hope you guys can feel happy and stay healthy every day. Thank you very much. We move next to hear from a native from San Juan, Argentina, another musical bridges favorite that has been here many times over, J.P. Joffrey, an award-winning bandoneon player and composer. Mr. Joffrey has been repeatedly highlighted by the New York Times and praised as one of today's leading artists by great performers at Lincoln Center. His music has been recorded by 16-time Grammy winner Paquito de Rivera, Orpheus Chamber Orchestra, and choreographed performed by ballet star Herman Cornejo, the principal dancer of the American Ballet Theater. So, from TED Talks to Juilliard, he's been around the country and around the globe. He was seen on the Musical Bridges stage by Maestro Sebastian Lang Lessing, and then invited to perform his Bandonian Concerto with 
the San Antonio Symphony in our illustrious Tobin Center for the Performing Arts. Ladies and gentlemen, J.P. Joffrey. Hello, dear friends in San Antonio. My name is J.P. Joffrey. I'm a bandoneon player and a composer. Bandoneon is this instrument that you see here. And I'm very happy to record this video for my very, very dear friends of San Antonio Musical Bridge around the world. Uh, it's a wonderful organization that I really love. Um, they support a lot of artists, they support a lot of new music, they believe in new music and they do so many things for San Antonio. Uh, I hope you can support them. I want to extend my deepest greetings from Taiwan. I'm right now in Taipei. I'm doing a tour with an orchestra, uh, performing my double concerto for violin and bandoneon. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful country here. Uh, anyways, I can't wait to be back in San Antonio, hopefully in the near future. Thank you. Muy felices vacaciones, chicos. Adios. And that was J.P. Joffrey, originally from Argentina, but splitting his time between New York and Korea. Thank you, JP, Mark, Valerie, all of our artists from Taiwan to Russia. We hope you enjoyed that whirlwind journey around the globe.